what's happening in Libya. You believe in the eastern part of this country already there are some 10,000 ISIS fighters that are assembling there today. Is that what you report? Yes, what is happening, because that sanctuary exists, ISIS has been able to expand into nine other countries. The largest expansion has taken place in Libya. We have anecdotal reports now saying that there are as many as 10,000 fighters there. We have to confirm those reports through intelligence sources, but that is, is the reality. We know that ISIS has a huge footprint in Libya. There are going to be three more other countries that they will have affiliations with and they're just going through the final stages of document approval. So this is an expanding threat. So that takes, you to, that takes you to a dozen. Now the key point that you make repeatedly, and to emphasize this, if you have territory, you can plot and you can plan. And right now it does, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Syria is a safe haven for them, even though we're, we're, we're bombing that safe haven. They know how to hide from that bombing and shield themselves. And all of their functions are being performed. Command and control, logistic support, expansion, internet, internet telecommunications on a regular basis, 20,000 hits on average a day in communications. That's why Catherine reported that ISIS is still recruiting successfully. That's a stunning report that she just issued to us. That gives you a sense of what the sanctuary does in terms of contributing to the success of ISIS. And that's why people like myself are frustrated with the administration because there's no sense of urgency to get after it and destroy it.